Hey, what's up? Chad here. I have to say, one thing I was looking forward to the most before coming to the Philippines was to explore the food markets, the night markets. Not that we don't have plenty of farmers markets back home, but the food markets in this part of the world are just different. The energy, the atmosphere, the food choices. If you've ever experienced food markets in Asia, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so in this video, we're gonna start in Cebu City and check out more of the Subbo Mercado food market in IT Park. Then we're gonna head over to Kalan and check out an absolutely amazing food market. And to cap it off, we'll hop over to a small village in Bohol where I meet with two Filipina sisters who prepare an incredible fresh fish dinner over the fire after we explore the local markets there. You're not gonna wanna miss that one, so stick around to the end. All right, all right, Subbo Mercado Night Market in IT Park. What can I say, this place is awesome. It's got a great vibe, super friendly, super safe, and best of all, it's got incredible food with so many options to choose from. Five, one. So something pretty cool I just found out about is that it actually started as a venue for up and coming food entrepreneurs to showcase their food, help them build their brand with the community. And then through the years, it's become an immensely popular food destination for locals and tourists as a showcase to the overall Cebuano food culture while still uplifting entrepreneurs from the area. So pretty cool. Oh, baby. So the Carbon Night Market in Kalan that I'm checking out here, as well as the famous Kalan Night Market, has finally reopened after being shut down from the pandemic, which is a huge boost to the local economy and a relief for locals and tourists alike to be able to enjoy this amazing night market again. So compared to the food market in IT Park, this one is a lot more of a raw, authentic Asian food market in my opinion. It's packed with people, the energy is unreal, the food choices are amazing, and it's a really intimate experience. I mean, you can feel the heat of the grills as you walk by. Definitely come check out both the Kalan and the Carbon Night Markets when you come to Cebu City. So a few days after checking out the Kalan Market, I hopped on a ferry over to Bahal and had the opportunity to explore some local markets in a small town called Anda. Hey, what's up guys? I was joined by two sisters from the area who both had unreal authentic Filipino cooking skills. So they led the way in picking out the best fresh fish and veggies to make a meal called Cabiche. What is it? It's Cabiche. Which is essentially sweet and sour fish. Tuna? What's this? Milkfish. Oh, milkfish. Yeah, I've heard of that. What are these guys? Anduhao. Anduhao? <laughs> Sasa? Plain fish. Plain fish. Oh, plain fish? This one here? Yeah, this one. Excuse me. So this fish here that we ended up going with is called caraballas, which is commonly used for escabeche. Final stop was for veggies and rice. So how do you decide what kind of rice to get? There's so many, there's so many types. So it's better the pandan. It's very white. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? We'd like to get half a kilo of the panda, please. Yes, sir. Half kilo. And that does it for the market shopping. After that, we head to the outdoor kitchen for some cooking magic. Okay, up at the community kitchen, hanging out. Everyone's up here. We're getting ready to cook dinner. I say we, I'm, I'm just holding the camera. But Sabelle's gonna cook some fish and veggies. And these lovely hosts at the Airbnb. Coral Cottages, guys, come check them out. Best place in Bohol. Yeah, it is. All right, all right, here we go. Getting the fish prepared. So when did you learn how to do this? When you were, how old were you when you started cooking? Grade six. Grade six, so like 12 years old? I cook and the rice is, I am grade one, cook rice or something like that, maybe and a grade Eight. one, grade two. Let's see how Chaitel's doing over here. Oh, fire's looking good. What do you 
think? How's it cooking? You looking good? Yeah. Yes, I know how to cook. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. Just always make a smile. People come across us. So, where did you guys learn to cook? Tell me the backstory. From my father. He's a good cook, eh? Yeah. And why my father cooked the dishes or something? Maybe I just look up and like that. <laughs> yeah. You were in the kitchen watching, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, right? watching, yeah. kitchen watching, yeah. So escabeche is basically a mix of carrots, bell peppers, onion, garlic, and ginger with a pretty simple sauce that's absolutely delicious. It's made up of vinegar, sugar, ketchup, some seasoning, and then some cornstarch and water for thickening, and that's it. That's the magic, guys. That's where it's at. <laughs> okay, every great chef tastes her food before it goes out. And? <laughs> What's the reaction? <laughs> mm. <laughs> and this is the last one. Can I put there? This is how they do it in the province, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is how it's done. Here we go. Fish. Oh that looks so good. We did today. <laughs> That's it? Mm -hmm. Did it. Now we're just waiting on the rice. Hey guys, thanks for letting us use your kitchen. Oh, Appreciate it. It was so nice chatting with you. <laughs> All right. It is dinner time. Bon appetit, as they say. So the flavor, I would describe this as kind of a sweet and smoky flavor. It's not like a light, light flaky. It's a little bit more dense and chewy. Smoky, sweet, incredible. So good. Mm. Well, there you have it, folks. A little taste of some of the awesome night markets I've been to so far in the Philippines with an incredible food market and cooking experience in the province with some wonderful people. I hope you enjoyed that. I definitely did. Well, that's it for now. Time to rest up and prepare for another amazing day here in the Philippines.